Like, Lee is clearly a Korean last name. Actually, I say I think she is Korean. Oh, Mike must be playing. Hello, yeah. and welcome to Backseat Gamer. <laughs> uh, I'm your host, Mike Riley, with me is Dane Forge Joan. Why is it? I, I, what the fuck happened? Uh, Jason Amherst. Uh, uh, did I just wake up from a coma? And Billy Carter. I'm free. Yeah, I got back and you guys were talking. I didn't want to interrupt, so I just said, fuck it. And hit record. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it all starts off with us just talking about Jubilee. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Except I'm not sure exactly what the first sentence of the episode is. So because <laughs> I hit record, I I made wait for a uh, dead air and then hit record. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! So then all cut. I did is start seeing then you I, moving everything. Well, yeah, it's because it's mainly just because I was I was just came from the bathroom and I knew we. <laughs> <coughs> ah, he's lying. See, he's coughing. <laughs> Is he damn. coughing or wheezing? Anyway, Whoa, before I before my body tried to just kill me, I was saying um, it's because I just came from the bathroom and I knew we were on limited time. So <laughs> I was just like, you know, like, ah, I can't wait. Let's just. Time... Start. This whole time I'm like, is Mike okay? Because he's been gone an awful long time. Yeah, I, I really had to go. I'm sorry. I've been holding it for three hours. I, I had, I had to go. Did you have to do the poop? You had the poop. You had the poop. You had the poop. Yeah, the poop. I had the poop. I had the poop. I got a poop. I got a poop. I got a poop. I got a poop. You know, God forbid, I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about my friend. I, I just had to poop. Okay, it's not a big deal. That's all I need to know. You. It's you really, know, it's I mean, really... you hold it long enough, and you wind up like shooting a bowling ball and tearing your ass. Oh, no, this was definitely not like a bowling. Happened. This was definitely not like a bowling ball. It was not like hard poops. No, I hard just had, poops. I, I just had, like... I had Culver's like an hour ago, and I'm pretty sure that's what that was. It was pretty greasy, actually. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what the poop? What the poop was greasy? Yeah. That's the school still. It can be. Oh, like it's it it just like brought back bad memories of uh, Amazon and like not being able to shit while at work. You know, after like a ten hour day, you come to the poop and like, Yeah, and then you go to the and you go to the bathroom and you're in there for fucking forty five minutes because you just can't yeah. stop pooping. That's pretty much how it is. Sometimes if boss yeah. makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I poop on company time. Except you Fuck can't do yeah. that on Amazon. It's time to take a I shit on the company dime. Company dime. I, you know what? I want to enjoy that, except it was a freaking AI written song. Well, it, it was actually it was written by a guy, but he put it through AI and it did all the rest. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately. Really, I, yeah. Really, I, but it's still funny. It's still it's, it's funny. Not, it's not like that guy, uh, what was it, Glorb, who uh, who at least does a decent impression of the SpongeBob characters for his raps. Yeah. Getting paid to shit. Getting paid to write. That's 45 minutes of my fucking life. You, you see the one where I, I uh, that's singing about taking a dump and then going pee afterwards and cutting the turd with your pee? Yeah. That song? <laughs> Lord, why? Uh, one of those songs uh, has come become so popular that there is now a karaoke of it on Carafun. Uh, I glued my balls to my butthole is on Carafun. <laughs> yeah. I glued uh, my balls to my butthole again. The oh, my God. Song. What can I do? I gotta take a dump. <laughs> uh, I listened. I listened to that eight times in a row and laughed. Eight times. In a row. Yeah. Yep. In a row. I listened to that song eight times and I laughed seven times. The fourth time oh I was kind of playing the. Universe. Yeah, the fourth time I was masturbating. 
Furiously. Furiously, yes. At first, I thought it was an actual, you know, real song, you know, you know, written by somebody in the 50s. But then the more I listened to it, I'm like, this is AI generated. That was. Yeah. Uh, it, there's certain tells by like how garbly it is. The, the, also, the cadence sometimes because AI can't get a, a person's cadence right sometimes and how they yeah. talk. It's there's like barely any pauses because a normal person like us, you know, we pause for effect or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. AI, AI don't do that. You don't, you don't do that. So I pissed on him in self defense. Anyway. I beg your pardon? I don't think I stuttered. <laughs> so then my boss got did... arrested. Cool. Why did you say? Why did you say you pissed on him in self defense? That's those are lyrics in the shit on yeah. company's dime. Yeah. Because he tried to start a holy war. You know what? Goodbye. I'm done. Goodbye. <laughs> well, you just you just give up over the dumbest shit. <laughs> well, we are talking about that. Dane can't handle a song up. about pooping on the company's dime, so he's out. I don't give up. You just I did. Just know what to you just said. I, just I you just said I'm done. Goodbye. Those are your exact words, were they not? Nah, he just to, ended the conversation. That's all he did. Listen to me, you baloney titted baboon. I am not Ashley. <laughs> 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 I got a, I, I got a poop. Look, I already did. I miss, I miss you guys. <laughs> also. I want to be violated by Hitler, okay? Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, look, okay? Yo. I'm very tired. No, I'm not gonna... <laughs> no, Ashley, even tired, would not say she wants to be violated by Hitler. <laughs> I think you're over, over-exaggerating yeah, yeah, just a smidge. Yeah, yeah, got, there's, there's gonna be that one day, Mike. That one day! <laughs> She's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. Oh, happy birthday! Well, happy so, birthday! Uh, yeah, on New Year's Day. Yeah, Scott Demore has filed a trademark for Maple Leaf Wrestling. Good luck. Hmm. Got so, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot he's Canadian. Yeah, what's what's the chances we get a, a stardom marigold situation where when people in TNA's contract uh, run up, they uh, hop on over to Canadian uh, MLW? That would be major league wrestling. Hey, Tony Schiavone, Tony Schiavone, before he was in AEW, uh, was a commentator for MLW. That's where um, frickin' uh, Frog's gay. Wait. (laughs) I'm like Riley, and I like making fun of my friend Dane. Because even though Dane's in there. Nobody made fun of you. Shut the fuck up, you dundle tunt. (laughs) <laughs> I fucking I knew you were gonna get I knew you were gonna get butt hurt over that. Not oh, butt hurt. Uh, I'm not butt hurt. You're just a lying sack of shit. Oh my god! <laughs> what did I do? How am I a lying sack of shit? You said I made fun of you. I did not make fun of you. You you hurt my pride and my wiener. You hurt your own pride and your own wiener. Stop trying to rip it off while you're masturbating. Oh, wiener. <laughs> 
I don't, nobody, yeah. nobody told you you have to jerk it like you're fucking running away from the police and the fucking fugitive. You know, you gotta, you gotta slow that shit down, man. Wait, hold on. Let me <laughs> let's back up a second here. Why would Sometimes I be doing that? Too hard. To That's a little strange. Hey, Chase. Sometimes that pulls too hard, and I tear the skin. <laughs> Remember when Doctor Kimball had to, Kimball had to face the one bald man? <laughs> how, how did he rip his balls off with only one arm? He, tu he tugged too hard. <laughs> you tugged too hard. Duly noted. Duly, don't you? <laughs> I'm glad you agree. I'm glad you agree. I nobody said I agreed. I just said duly noted. It's a matter of it's opinion. Like There's like, oh, you know, no wrong answer. Truly do. It's like I told my girlfriend, "Don't give me a handy. That's something I can do with myself. That's why I need your mouse." That's when I told. That's why I told my girlfriend, "Why don't you exist?" <laughs> <laughs> doodly do, ding dong, doodly do. Yeah, exactly. Duly noted. And then my invisible bro girlfriend broke up with me. Figure that shit out. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. My hand had a headache. My invisible girlfriend's <laughs> in my invisible basement, chained up to the invisible wall. Right. Oh, all right, Spoonie. <laughs> Let's dial it back a smidge. <laughs> I did say invisible, so they obviously don't exist. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's fair. But neither does Spoonie's career, so that works out. <laughs> That's true, he, but he he ended that himself that, though. Fair. By he you was know, actually on a by never you know, putting out content. A, that's true. <laughs> and still somehow making thousands of dollars on Patreon. I'm pretty sure that there's still people that giving him money on Patreon. I'm wondering myself. I mean, is there any way any of us could check that? We'll do it right now. Check, check what? See how much See, money Spoonie people... is still making on Patreon. Who cares? Because for the last time I talked to some, oh, I forgot who it was, former Channel Awesome person <laughs> I was talking to, and they they said he's like he's like still making like five hundred dollars a month. Uh, according he's to this, making... he is making one hundred and fifty six ninety a month. <laughs> still, right? yeah. Apparently that yeah. many apparently that many fucking idiots are still still subscribed to his Patreon. It, he's been persona non grata for like years. Almost yeah, yeah, I don't think he's put years. Yeah, I don't think he's put out content in about sixty three years. And somehow he's still making hundred and fifty dollars a month plus. It's what I make in like a night, or actually, I make more than that a night at work. I mean, in fairness, he used to make thousands of dollars and still didn't put out any fucking content. But that's true. The fact that he's still making that any is... money at all from doing nothing is is. I'm starting to wonder if it's like a social experiment that he'd started. Like, I wonder how long some fucking idiots will pay me for doing absolutely nothing. Actually, I, it was Brad that I, I talked to because I was at a con and he was there. And um, we, we just started talking and, you know, Spoonie came up in the conversation. And uh, well, that guy's a fucking idiot. Yeah. And he's like, I, you know, I heard he's still making like $500 a month. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. I said, well, obviously he's not living off of that. He's like, yeah, but still, there's still people giving him money. The, go the government. The government came and took my baby. I mean, he's completely scrubbed himself off the internet. He makes zero content now. He probably just has a regular nine to five like everybody else now. <laughs> and yet he still hey, makes a hundred and fucking... $56.90 $56 a month. 
Where does the 90 cents come from? I don't know. So, uh, apparently, Warner Brothers Discovery might be a little desperate to hold on to AEW. What's that? Okay. Because Comcast's NBC Universal is prepared to pay an average about two point five billion a year to outbid uh, Warner Brothers Discovery for some NBA games. What would, and, wait, uh, what would that, that mean for WWE though? Because they're already a part of NBC Universal. Simple. Uh, those NBA games won't be on TNT and TBS anymore leaving huge gaps in uh, those channels lineups and more room for AEW so that means that they're going to be very desperate to hold on to AEW as well I really wish they would stop I really wish they would stop putting sports on paid subscription services sports like, like, put it, put it, put it on ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox. Like, MLS is literally, with the exception of maybe a, a one or two games, is exclusive to Apple TV. Like, but yeah, I, if if NBC Universal were actually to pick up the rights to AEW, I mean, how would that work out? Because SmackDown's going to stay on USA. Well, no, it's, Raw no NBC Netflix. Universal doesn't. No, NBC Universal doesn't want them. NBC, NBC Universal wants the NBA. Oh, I see. And that's, and that's Warner cool. Brothers Discovery doesn't want to lose those because they've had a stranglehold on NBA games, especially the playoffs, for a long ass time. And if they give the right amount of money, the NBA is going to be like. Yeah, we're going over to you. They have no loyalties. Yep. It's whoever pays the most. That's really what it comes down to. Like the Super Bowl, whatever channel is paying the most, that's what it's going to be on. If that's Fox why it jumps. pays, uh, yeah, if Fox pays the most, it's on Fox. If ABC or CB or well, ABC doesn't do football, ABC, but if they did, ABC, ABC, NBC or CBS ABC. pays the most. In, NBA, go to them. BCBS, BCB, B, BCBF. But from what I've heard, the NFL and I've this is just a rumor that they won't go to a paid subscription service to yeah. do the um, going to the BBW network. The BBW, the, the big, big, the big boobed women network. Is that what you think BBW stands for, Billy? No, I know what BBW stands for, Big Beautiful Woman. Yeah, I, I know that, but... For God's sake, Billy really is one. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a Big Beautiful William. It's true. It's true. I also have a Big Bouncing Willie, too. Um... <laughs> I mean, to... Why are you laughing I mean... like Muttley? Stop that. <laughs> Coming to the hammer. Let me see if Billy or Jace are aware of what this is. Coming to the Hammerstein Ballroom on August fourth. Uh, Flow twenty twenty four anime Shibari tour. Yeah, oh. uh, Flow's going to be doing a lot of. Uh, they're, they're on tour because they're also hitting Boston too. Shibari I, tour. I don't want to go see them. They're going to tie up anime women. Shibari. Yeah, I guess it's just what they're calling their tour. They're they're playing mostly songs that they've done for animes. They also did the theme song for the most recent Kamen Rider series too, but I doubt yeah. they're going to be playing that. No, they're not. God damn it! There's a PDA I'm it's, not seeing somewhere. Actually, but the thing is that Sony Sony is making a big push to make anime music popular in the United States because both Flow and Yo Asobi are on tour this summer in the United it's, States. You know, the, the thing is, they, they, they don't think it's pop, but it's like a lot of charting songs are from animes now. I mean, you know? one, of, one of the biggest songs of the summer last year 
was freaking Yoasobi's idol from Oshinoko. Yeah. yeah. That that it, charted it, internationally. Yeah, it, it like like number one in a lot of areas. It, it charted like the top ten here in the states. Yeah. Very popular song. I think the only thing that outbeat it was, I think Taylor Swift, but that Probably. just goes to say that just goes to say. I mean, and Taylor Swift is normie music anyway. Yeah, and and to to quote one of my favorite VTubers, Ayunda Risu, no normies, no, no normies, no, <laughs> go away, <laughs> no normies, no, no normies. <laughs> You know, I almost ordered the freaking Risu's Isekai Express hat. <laughs> oh, Lord. Isekai Express. I was so oh. tempted. Speaking of anime, I just bought a movie. Um, I just got it in the mail. Ooh. I bought it offline. We just got Mazinger Z. Infinity. Got More giant robot stuff for me. I like giant robot anime. It's my favorite genre. You know, everybody loves giant robots. Chicks uh -huh. dig giant robots. I <laughs> dig giant robots. Sexual. We love giant robots. Giant yeah. robots. <laughs> loves giant robots. Chicks. Chicks. Yeah. That show was so good. Nice. That was, that was one yeah. of me and my brother's favorite shows. Was I love that show too. Vegas XLR, yeah. Like I, uh, last yesterday, my I come over and I'm watching Tetsujin Twenty Eight. My brother goes, "Oh, Gigantor!" I'm like, "You could call it that, yeah." He goes, "Okay, what's the actual name of it?" I went Tetsujin Twenty Eight. He says, "I'm sticking with Gigantor." <laughs> But I can tell you what, if it wasn't for that show, you wouldn't have any of these giant robot shows. I think it was the first. I mean, you wouldn't have any Gundam. You wouldn't have Johnny Sacco and his giant robot, which was a live show, but... <laughs> Oh God! What He's, what the hell was the Japanese title for that? Giant Robo. Yeah, Basically, yeah. But in Japanese, it, it was just Giant Robo. But yeah, it was him, uh, Tetsujin Twenty Eight, and then yep. that's all that was in the '60s, the late '60s, when those shows came out. But then when the '70s rolled out, you got Gundam, you got uh, uh, uh. Mazinger Z, Great Mazinger. Yep. You got uh, uh, freaking uh, uh, Grandizer, uh, Guy King. You started getting all these giant robot anime that were coming out. And they were just pumping them out. And then the toys came out. And then that came over here, Shogun Warriors. <laughs> Those yep. toys. Yep. And the whole thing about the Rocket Punch toy, that's where it started was those animes. Mazinger Z. That's how he finished off his enemies was that rocket punch. Yep. Which we got to see in freaking uh, uh, X-Men 97. Uh -huh. Yeah. It, you know what's uh, funny? I... What's funny? Uh, uh, Shogun Warriors I had a comic book. All right? Yeah. So all of these properties, I'm looking at the, it was Mazinger Z, uh, Guy King, and a few other, you know, franchises from Japan, you know, being made in these toys. And they're all in the same comic book. And I believe it was Marvel that put it out. So all of these giant robots are canon to the Marvel Universe. In theory, yep. Oh, yeah. It, they've mentioned them before and everything. I'm like, dear Lord. Yeah, Combatler 5, Dangard 8. Uh, 
Brave yeah. Riding. Um, Getter one. Scooby Doo Doo Doo. <laughs> Getter was a a different show because there were multiple different robots in that show. There was Getter, Getter, yeah. I mean Getter One, Getter Dragon, Getter, uh, Getter, Get, Getter, <laughs> and and Leopardon. Yeah, Leopardon. Uh, yeah. You know, I my favorite Leopardon was the one in space. <laughs> well. Well, Leopardon was literally the giant robot that belonged to Spider-Man in Japan. Oh, Leopardon. Yeah, Leopardon. Yeah. That was the actual first tokusatsu to have a giant robot yep. uh, in it. The very first one. Spider-Man started the whole superhero uh, team giant robot thing. Yep. They, they saw how well that that worked, and uh, they were like, Fuck it, put that in the next Super Sentai show. Let's do that. Then, yeah. when they started well, cause, doing cause that... Marvel, Marvel co-produced the third Super Sentai and said, yeah, that thing we did with Spider-Man that worked so well for toys and Spider-Man, let's do that with the next Super Sentai that we're producing. So uh, which was giant... uh, Battle Fever J. Yeah, better, yeah. yeah. Battle which Fever been... uh, one. Yeah, which has the infinite, uh, infamous scene of a very hairy Japanese man and a girl in the women's costume jumping through the window, and you can uh, see the his balls through the su- suit. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, big one. Big one was uh, Jack Dengek died. Oh yeah, that was that was that was Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was the, that was the fourth one. That that was the second one. It was the second Sentai series. Jack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Jack was the second one. Okay. Then, so then Ranger, Battle... Jack, and then Battle Fever. Which I find very funny because Battle Fever J. They yeah. were supposed to be all from different nations, but I they were all ten Japanese. minutes looking for that fucking PDA. And it was right next to the goddamn door. Oh jeez. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there, like I said, Dane. There's this infamous scene where uh, Miss America, and that's who she's called. Uh, jumps through a window and it's obviously a man in, in a you know stunt man in the suit and you, you just see the tight outfit and then you just see the outline of his balls coming through. This Got American hairy has legs. balls. Well, That's... if you actually saw the woman that played her, you'd be like, she ain't got balls. <laughs> she ain't got balls. She did in that one scene. No, that one scene because it was well. <laughs> I was actually so I was watching um, Comedy's Dirtiest Dozen. It was called. It was a special from 1988. Yeah, I've seen that. And something that Mike has referenced from time to time was part of the act by Stephen Pearl. Oh uh, yeah, I yeah. I forget. I think it was Breakdance and Oprah. Can you help me out, Mike? I wish I could, but I don't know what exactly you're referring to. Some song that you were singing, it was like a dirty joke song, and it was part of it was uh, Oprah Bray dancing or something. What? Something about fucking a Kennedy? I do not remember what the hell you're talking about. I know, I know, I'm not crazy. You, you were making this joke, and you were. What the? Hell? Shut. Up. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to. to you have to forgive me. My memory isn't as good as it used to be. So. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I am fucking a Kennedy. I don't remember that. I I really oh, don't. No, this, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is gonna try to be crazy. Oh, oh I know. So I'm, I'm I'm looking at this and I'm just seeing the sewer and I'm going like, the all that poo gas. Crud vapors. Don't you mean crud vapors? 
uh, oh, meanwhile, like, why are you fighting Cthulhu's in a sewer? I thought this was Doom. Thank you, Bus. The, the Mancubus is apparently Cthulhu? No, he just has Cthulhu. face tentacles. That's Tubby Cthulhu. Uh, Cthulhu needs to be put on a diet. <laughs> Too many Vistal, Vestal versions. Too many Vistal? <laughs> he fistled her Vistal. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why he do that? Because he oh, crazy. Why, why? Why, why, why he eat the virgins? Why? Why he eat the virgins? Is he? I was, uh, watching a thing about, uh, the types of food that they would sell at the Colosseum in Rome. Uh-huh. And, um, well, he also would give history not just about the dishes that they serve, but just general history about the Colosseum. At the very top, there was a lot of shade. But the further you went down, there wasn't a lot of shade. And the lower levels were meant for, you know, like the rich stuff like that. So what was funny was all the poor people at the very top were sitting in the shade. Everything was 20 degrees cooler and, you know, everything like that. And everybody was fine. But the rich people were like dying of heat stroke. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny! Yeah, he did well, bubble, bubble, of, bubble, bubble. Kind of is. I mean, they're like, "Oh, look at our status. We're down here, and and you're dying of heat stroke." Is funny. Well. Yeah. In, con in context, it is. <laughs> but you know, people dying in the Holocaust, in context. Keep the rich. Well, anyways, they were talking, um, the, the dish that they were talking about, uh, that he was talking about, was uh, stuffed dates. Which is what my dates are after I'm done taking them out to dinner and then I take them to bed. I stuff them. Funny enough, these dates these dates had nuts in them. So, oh. yeah. Right, what are you trying to say, Billy? Did I did I date men? <laughs> no, that you nut on your dates. Oh, that's fair. I typically <laughs> nut in them. <laughs> well, there were nuts in the dates. There you so. Go. Well, anyways, what what they did was he took uh, like walnuts and. Um, uh, it was like Deezna. salt and pepper. Deezna. He like uh, ground up, ground up uh, nuts and peppercorns, and and Pepper. what was the other? It, it was something else. And then he stuffed it in the date, and then he cooked it in honey, like a boiling cauldron of honey, and that's how he cooked it. And I'm like, I want to try that. That looks good. You should you should make them. I probably could. It actually looked. It was a fairly easy looking recipe. I, I mean, now I'm getting. Just... Oh yeah, she. You can hear her in the background. I just imagine Emily going, "Why are you making that, Billy? You're so old." Do you want to try some? No, I don't like those. You You've never had some? them. Shut up. Do you want to try some? 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 But there was one dish that he was doing. It was about the Oregon Trail. And it was uh, bacon and Johnny Cakes. Bacon and Johnny Cakes. Johnny Excuse Cake, me, Johnny my, Cake. I... Baker's man. Bake me a Johnny as fast as you can. Excuse me, uh, my microwave Johnny cakes are ready. Don't do it, jo don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it, Johnny. Think of your poor mother, Johnny. Oh, I can't think of her anymore. Don't do it. I need them shoelaces and the whiskey. What do 
you need the shoelaces for? Heroin. Let me tell you something, Johnny. Do you want me to smack the fucking piss out of you? I'd like to see you try. Oh, how about you fucking shite head? Oh, you're gonna go and do it. I'll come here. Hide, 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 you briny bastard, I'll put you in a pickle barrel. <laughs> I'll hit you with a fucking potato salmon. Oh, oh no. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's, that's like part of my ancestors. That's probably, probably a lot of our ancestors. The reason why they came over here was because of that. I'll hit you with I an mean, Irish carb. <laughs> oh. At least me and Mike. The Irish carb. <laughs> It's a waste of alcohol. Party foul. Party foul. Uh, so, what kind of children do you have? Irish twins. They're a year apart. That's <laughs> party foul. Do 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 do. Butt sauce. Do 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 do. X lax. Do 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 do. Check the do 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 mushroom stamp do 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 standing in line to see the show tonight and there's a light on heavy load penny load douchebag by the way I've got to shave my bean bag <laughs> I got my, I got my going on. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> Poop Ow, my stomach muscles. Ow. Ow, don't bust a seam. Oh. <laughs> oh Zach, man. there's still I, I still we, have pain from that. I mean, this is my recital. Be... I think it's very vital to rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Stop and... to rock around rock around. Bad to rock a rhyme to rock a rhyme, rock a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky. It's tricky, 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 tricky. Oh, tricky. I met this little girly. Her hair was kind of curly. So I took her to the bathroom and I gave her ass a swirly. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you guys a, 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 I'm gonna say you guys a Scottish sea shanty. And here okay. we go. Right. He had blonde hair, a black mustache, and a big brown bushy beard. But he's ginger down below, me boys. Ginger down below. Mm hmm. I'm gonna let me say. I'm gonna say an old Irish sea shanty. <laughs> And I, I hope you like it. it All was, right. All right, here we go. It was on the good ship Venus, by Christ you so to seen us. The figurehead was the whore in bed and the master mammal penis. <laughs> now, uh, some I'm of those going sea to see, shit. And now I'm going to sing an old Scottish familiar tune. Okay. And I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500, walk 500 more to be the man who walked a thousand miles to fall down at your door. We were in that song. We were in Benny and June. Did you know that? Yes. Benny and June, which is one of the first NC-17 rated films. That's not, that's not right. That's, that's incorrect. Not. Benny and June oh. wasn't rated NC-17? No. Oh. Are we, are we I've got one for you. There once was a man for a man, tuck it. <laughs> my, mom, my mom just 
came into the room and she told me a joke. Uh, Benny and you guys want to hear it? PG. Sure. There once was a man from Nantucket. When we asked him to be on this show, he said, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> is this is a joke from uh, my mom. Guys. Okay. You knew this was the Here place where he could be Jace the Ace. <laughs> All right, here we go. And my everyone says, else can man, just suck it. <laughs> my mom says, if a man and a woman, if a man and a woman need a marriage license, what do two lesbians need? Uh, fishing lure. A liquor license. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> oh, you heard that one before. There you go. That's fair. <laughs> my mom says, that's funny. I don't care what anybody says right there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the joke from my mom. <laughs> that's my mama. That's, that's my mama. That's my yep. white mama. And you Don't sh- make me see break where my, I get my foot off from. in your ass. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, hi, Billy's mama. How are you? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mark. I miss Billy Mama. Miss Billy Mama. I want to 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 miss Billy Mama. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. Y'all going to eat your cornbread. I think that we are fixing to talk about Richard Nixon. Excuse me? He walks around. He's right on time. He's Dicky, Dicky, Dicky. Um, actually, well, see, he considering he's been. I dead, am right? not a crook. I'm not a crook. I'm not a crook. I'm Dicky, <laughs> Dicky, Dicky, Dicky. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. No, he's not alive. I know he's not alive. Oh. So yeah, he's not walking around then. Now, horse Pat. Ooh, and as we as we cool. sit here blinking, I think Dane is overthinking. He rocks a rhyme that's right on time. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Ooh. <laughs> oh, um, Jace, um, Shin Kamen yeah. Rider is 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 on uh, Amazon Prime right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've, I've seen I, it yeah, like. I, I, and now, <laughs> and now I'm going to make. And now I'm going to say words in an attempt to make Jason orgasm. Live action Shin Shin Common Rider movie. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do it a little, a little dude. <laughs> oh Lord, help me! Help me, Lord, help me! Save me, Jesus! Yes. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda. Help me. Even though that's going to make this episode a little bit shorter than normal because we started late because I was pooping. Uh, this is going to be where we're going to end it tonight. Uh, so it looks like okay. we are going to have to have another uh, session of Doom, which is fine. But next time, we're going to be starting Project Warlock 2. So that's that's coming very soon. Oh. Yes. Finally, we're going to get to the sequel. We played the first game last year, uh, about this, about the same time last year, actually. Now we're going to uh-huh. kickstart our summer with some Project Warlock 2. So it's that'll be awesome. Life. In any event, thanks for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford-Jones, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. Bye.